Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am going to make some covers today. Uh, I am going to do a start to finish um, video series on this Valiant Day uh, from Made to Be Designs. I uh, had a couple of requests for that, and so we're going to do this one all on camera. But first thing we're going to do is do the covers. And I'm kind of in the mood to make covers. So I have some of my quilt top, little quilt top scraps and stuff. So I think if we get this one done, we'll move on to the next one. So let's say hi and hugs before we get started here. Hi and hugs to Leslie, Angie, Love for Tink, and Nikki. So I just appreciate you guys watching and your nice comments and thanks for being here. Okay, so I kind of just wanted to sh remind you this is the this is the western kit. Absolutely just was like I got to I got to make that now. <laughs> and I've been saving this piece. This is a piece of it's got the holes in the sides because it is um, an upholstery sample is what it is. And so that's what we're going to use for this cover. So I'm going to put the, put the digitals aside for a moment. Actually, maybe not. Let's, let's pick out the inside fabric first. So I've got this little fabric bundle from Mixed Media Minnesota and I was wondering about this, this kind of mustard yellow. I, there's also, there's also denim. I don't know, I'm feeling the mustard yellow. Although denim would be an awesome cover for this too. So there you go, we might think about that down the line but for now I'm just going to make just going to make the leather one and I think that piece of fabric is big enough to to work so that's awesome okay set those aside set this aside and we're going to get busy here so this piece of leather measures about well, it's about 13 and a half slash a quarter. It's not quite square. I think I might square that up a little bit. Um, and then it's nine inches tall, as I recall. Perfect. So that is perfect. Let's, let's get this squared up a little bit because that's going to bug me. See, this edge is a little. So I grabbed my my quilters thingamajiggy. <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm going to do this at 13. Do I want to do it? At, yeah, I'm going to do it at 13. So I've got a little bit of extra. Let me um, see how this works. I'm not the best at this guys, but we'll, we'll go for it. Well, easy peasy. I'm going to keep this leather because that might come in handy for for decorating or something. It helps to have a new rotary cutter, which is what I treated myself to a while back. Okay, so then 9 by 13. Now, I am going to use a manila envelope. This is 12 by not quite nine. So I'm going to use that as kind of the base. I'm going to take this off, get that pressed down. So I will put this video in my um, playlist of, uh, of covers, but I'll also put it in my playlist of um for start to finish journals and then I'll put all the videos from this in that um 
which way do I want to go? I think this way might be, might be better. That way I'll have enough to turn over. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this envelope, then put it onto my leather, and then I'm going to sew around it. I happen to have brown thread in my sewing machine right now. So I'm gonna where am I? I am going to um, sew around this one. I won't sew around the others though because I'm gonna have to um, I'm gonna need to change my thread out. Wow, when you have a sharp one of these, it's pretty pretty amazing. <laughs> Okay, this actually would be, it's like about four inches. That would be perfect for a fabric flip for this. So we're going to keep that aside with the leather. And then on this one, I'm just going to turn this a bit. And cut this again. Just have a little strip of it left, but that's okay. Did that one better. Getting back into the hang of it here. Okay. So what we're going to do here is... Um, I'm just going to lay this down on this glue it in the middle, kind of, because um, I'm going to sew around the edges. Hopefully I won't asphyxiate myself with the Fabri-Tac. It's, I don't know, I got a super stinky bottle. Usually it doesn't bother me, but lately it's been like, whoo, that's strong. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to smooth it out because heaven forbid I get out the iron. It's not my thing. Iron's not my thing. <laughs> okay, so that's decent. Okay, so now I'm going to go on the edges and we're just going to cut kind of an angle. Let me get my fabric scissors. Those are the tips of my Tim Holtz. I don't know if I've just used them to bits or what, but they're not happy. So they don't cut decently on fabric. They used to. They just don't anymore. I'm keeping those for clusters. Those would be a good, those would be good little base, wouldn't they? So good. I think this is going to just be a super fun journal to make. I'm excited. So thank you, Kayla, for creating such a fun little different kind of a kind of a themed journal. It's just fun. Okay. I'm just going Flip that around the envelope. Okay, and right about here. So the corners will be neat, but I'm not extremely worried about them because I am going to put on. Um, Tim Holtz book corners on this. Okay, smoosh down, guys. Oh, yeah. And then this is gonna, this might have to dry a bit before I, before I sew it. Didn't think about that, but that's okay. Maybe we'll sew it after we've put together some. I just want to get some put together so I can just sew, 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 
and have some more fabric covers in my stash for for when they hit me. I, I rarely do I make the covers like I am right now, right before starting the project. Usually I have some pre-made, but um, go figure, I didn't have any cowboy ones pre-made. <laughs> but you know, I mean, people give us a bad time about our crafting supplies, but you know, if I hadn't kept that little piece of, um, of upholstery fabric, I wouldn't have exactly what I want for this project. So there you go. Okay, so there's that all nicely, nice and neat. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put these little threads in there. Make sure they get some glue on them. And then um, I'm just, I'm just going to kind of center that there. And I think that will be just fine. I could make some pockets out of that jean material. That could be fun. So that's basically where that's going to go. So first thing I'm going to do is glue these down a little bit. Just, just to make sure they don't unravel because I do kind of love the stitching. Okay, and then I'm going to just get this in the middle and flip it over. Now I just want to make sure each side is about the same and that it goes straight-ish along along the edges because those edges are just the same. Okay, so there it is. It's ready to be sewn around the edges. I haven't decided what to do with these holes yet. I figure worst case scenario, they're bullet holes from uh, the what they call that when when two people, you know, started in the middle, walked this way, and turned around. Duel. Duel? I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> Maybe they're bullet holes from the Old West. Okay, I'm going to set that aside to dry, and we will sew that in a minute. Meanwhile, I have this one. That I want to get ready and I've already picked this out for the inside but let's see let's see how this this is pretty big so I'm just looking to I really like this side which is going to be the front so maybe what we'll do is Cut this down a bit like it needs to be straightened. I'm going to keep this bottom and so I think I just want just want a little bit on the edge. Okay first things first let's straighten up this edge which I mean, I'm not sure this is straight in any stretch of the imagination, but we're going to go with it. I'm going to put that along there. No, nope, I'm going to turn it around. It'll be easy for me, easier for me since I'm right-handed. Okay, I think that... That should straighten it out a bit. So that's where we'll start. OK, 
egg. That's kind of cool. We'll keep that. All right, now, I think I want about that much hanging over. So, let's slide, slide that there. Put this here and do about the same. I'm going to do a rough edge on this one. I'm not going to wrap it or anything. Oops. Doesn't want to let go. There we go. And that would be a fun little, maybe a fun little piece and something too. Okay, now as far as height goes, let's, let's take a little strip off the height too. Like about maybe a quarter of an inch or so. Okay. All right. That's fun too. Okay. So we got that ready. That's ready. All right. Now we need to do the inside, which I don't think I need this whole thing. I'm going to wrap it like I did the other one. Let's down that and so really first of all these envelopes are the exact right height uh right size for what i want to do so that's one reason i use them but the the main purpose of these is really to um is to create stability in the cover i have had journals before that were just fabric no no stabilizing anything in them and um i i'm gonna be honest i didn't really care for that only because i guess i'm out already uh they flopped around as i was trying to journal in the in the journal so that's why i put a little stabilizer in there so so that's the scoop with that. Let's put this on. I'm going to wrap it around this envelope again. Let's do this. I don't know why. Just, just seems like the thing to do. Okay. I'm just going to kind of, kind of center it up as much as I can. Okay. Get the wrinkles out for the most part <laughs> not totally okay so you guys I'm so excited to be doing this I have been wanting to have a cover making day for for weeks and I just um I've just had too many other projects going so I'm real tickled to be be getting this going and this one I have no idea what what you know what journal ultimately it's going to be not at all not like the other one that's specifically for the valiant days journal okay okie dokie now we just have to Glue her down. I should mention too my my new Fabri-Tac bottle. Jeez, oh, um, is from my pal. Natasha at um, Journey of Crafting 
made it for me a long time ago, but um, I've my other one was just fine until recently and it gave up the ghost. So, so I would say that sugar bell bottle, my last one lasted me. Oh man. Um, I don't even know. Probably I'm going to go right on the fabric here just cause it's a little bit skinnier. Um, geez, four or five years. I don't know. So, they are good, and they do make it much easier to use your Fabra, Fabra Tack or Fabra Fix, whichever you've got. Strings, always going to have strings with fabric, aren't we? Okay, I'm probably totally goobering up my fingernails, but that's all right. I didn't do a great job on them anyway. <laughs> those hurry up and get them done real quick days and then I had stuff to do and so you know then I make a mess of them right off the bat okay and well my husband just walked on the treadmill now he's I hear his recliner going back so he's he's earned himself a nap Okay, so there is that part. Great. The strings attached to me. Then this, I'm just going to plop onto here, like so. And then I'm going to sew around it. But, like I say, I won't be doing that today because of... Um, because I need to change out my thread mostly is mostly the reason. Okay, so, but this will have a good chance to dry, which will be awesome. Okay, kind of split in the middle. I want it to be above the pink edging binding. See, I've been hanging around my quilter friends, I know. So as I sew this, because it's got a little overhang, as I sew it, as it's going through the machine like this, I'll be feeling for the edge because I want to sew it, you know, in from here. But I want the main stitching to be on this side. And this one, because it's hand quilted and everything, I think I'm just going to use a straight stitch and go around this. So that one is ready to sew as well. Woohoo! Okay, how's this one doing? Is it? I think it's probably decently dry. I only am wondering because of, I don't want to gum up my sewing machine. Maybe we'll do one more and then we'll do that. Let's do that. I think we have time. Okay. So this one. So here's my thought on this one. Um, again, hand stitched and it's a beautiful old feed sack that's old, old. One of my friends gave me this. And... So, and this edge is awesome. You know, it's all the hexagons. Kind of, kind of tearing a little bit, but that just gives it more personality in my book. So, we're going to use that. But then, what I thought I'd use to close it is, I think I'm going to use this doily. I'm going to attach some ribbon to this doily and have it wrap around the book like that but I know I've got extra of that too so we need to cut this down some oh uh, let's get another envelope I have my prime envelopes here too the poofy ones but um I don't know I'm feeling I'm feeling these right now but you can definitely can definitely make 
journals out of the prime envelopes too. And I'm just going to let this hang down is my thought. I think that would be cool. So really, I just have to cut some off this edge, I feel like. So let's see. So tomorrow's video, let's see. Tomorrow's video will be, um, it will be Forgotten Friends Friday, but if I can get these sewn, I'll show them to you. I'll be filming that today, so I don't know if I'll get it done, but I'll try. Okay. Kind of kills me. I like it when my friends give me a, <laughs> a bit of a quilt because I have a hard time. I have some that are probably at the point where I could cut them up, but oh, it's just so hard for me. I collect vintage quilts, so, so that makes it hard. Hmm, I might make that into a pocket, kind of a funky little pocket on the front, but could I go like that, maybe? Hmm, L look at me getting ahead of myself. That's what happens. Okay, let's get the inside fabric done. Okay, this is a nice size piece of fabric. What is it? Hobby Lobby. Mm hmm. Okay, so whenever I see a fabric that I really like, um, let's see, I think I'll take off the edge first um, at Hobby Lobby or wherever because I'm a journal maker not a not a seamstress even though I've done my share of sewing in my lifetime um, I get if some if one hits my eye and I'm like oh I absolutely love that then what I'll do is just get a half a yard. And that's more than enough for um, a journal cover, fabric flips, whatever. Let go, buddy. There we go. Okay, that's a fun little strip. We'll keep that. Okay, now we need to, and I'm going to flip it around so that, actually, I think I'll go this way. So there's not, not really a direction on this, is there? Okay. So, once again, I'm going to want to fold this around the envelope. So... I actually like the Amazon envelopes better for um, let's make sure we're straight here. Um, I like them better for just just plain fabric, not quilts. Because on just plain fabric, I won't necessarily wrap the envelope like this. Where's my... There it is. Okay. I gotta move a couple things off my desk so that I can push this up a bit. There we go. Now we're good. All right. Yeah, so anyway, um, that's kind of my, the difference in my thought process between using a prime envelope and using one of these manila envelopes. And I just buy these by the box. I suppose you could get them on Amazon. I got mine at Staples, but um, 
I'm using about an inch and a quarter border to be able to cut that down. Look at that, isn't that a cute scrap? Love me some scraps. Got a whole pile over here. How am I doing on my time? Oh, I'm good. I knew if I just made the time to sit down and do this that I would I would be happy girl. Um, I've got a whole little tub thing of um, quilt scraps like this for covers and so and it is full. So I thought, well, I'll make some covers and then that will free up the universe to send some more scraps my way. <laughs> that was my thought process. <laughs> okay. It's a happy floral, isn't it? I felt like the front was so um, kind of subdued that maybe it would be fun to have a little more a little bit more on the bright side, kind of. So hopefully, just like any mass making, me doing these over and over, you'll get, get my process anyway. I'm not saying this is the best way. I'm not saying it's the only way. Uh, it's just my way. As with pretty much everything I do. <laughs> don't um, claim to be a teacher. I have too much respect for teachers <laughs> to, to claim to be one. They, they are amazing. I'm blessed to come from a family of them. My grandma was a teacher. Have I ever told you that? Yeah. Yeah, she was a teacher. She went to, you know, went to college and became a teacher when in her generation that was not not as usual as it is today. So and of course my husband was in education. He taught and then he was the he got his master's and then he got and then he went back to school and got what he needed to be uh, an administrator which I think was his path all along to be the vice principal and to be the disciplinarian he was so good at it even the kids that got in trouble loved him <laughs> Unless, unless they were fighting him or saying they, they hoped he died in a fiery car crash. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> oh, one little girl was fighting, fighting with him physically. And his, his arm had been out of the socket and <laughs> she popped it back. She she was pulling away from it or something. I don't know. Anyway, it popped it back in and it literally drove him to his knees. And then she was like, oh, Mr. A, Mr. A, I'm sorry. What happened? Oh, meanwhile, his co-worker was down the hallway just cracking up at the whole, the whole scene that was being made. Oh, my goodness. Okay, there's that one. <laughs> oh, he had, you know, what was great is every night when he came home, he had, he had more stories, you know, just so fun. But he loved it so much and he was good at it. What I always said, there wasn't anything those kids could do that he hadn't done himself. <laughs> Okay, that's going to go there. 
So let's get that glued on. And then that will be, again, I'm going to use the light colored thread for this. I think after this one, we can sew our leather one, though. Get that one finished up. And any luck, we might even be able to do another one. I enjoy this. Okay. I'm going to go right there with that. And this, this will be the cover. And as we go along, I will put some put some kind of ribbon there or something and then tie it around this. Okay, but I think I will keep this with this so I remember what my thoughts on that were. Okay, let's see if we can pull the sewing machine over here. I'm hoping I have enough to go around it. If I don't, then we'll stop midway. <laughs> yeah, looks, looks like maybe. Okay, so I think... I think I'm going to zigzag this. I just, I just kind of feel like that does a great job. So I'm going to feel where the backing is and put that kind of where my, where my feet are or where my foot is. Okay, so here we go. Almost. Let me get my foot feed. Okay. So I can feel the edge of the envelope. Ooh. Well, that's not good. It did not like it. Oh my gosh. Not happy. I didn't think it was that thick. Let me try one more time. Nope. Okay. Well... have to go to plan B. That's what I'm going to have to do. Which, I think what we'll do... Okay. I think what I'm going to do is take like my darning needle and just do a running stitch around it similar to this. This is obviously machine. Gosh, I didn't even think my machine wouldn't like the leather. So I'm going to have to hand stitch that. I'm debating whether or not to put these on first. Nope, I think I'll stitch it first. But I am going to put these on the edges. And you've seen me do that a million times, but I'll show it again since we're doing start to finish. Okay, well, that just um, changed my plans a little bit, huh? Okay, then. Um, we will, yeah, we'll just hand stitch that. So I'm going to have to, I don't have what I need right here in front of me. So I'm going to set that aside and let's see what else we have to work with. So, get rid of all those. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to get this open. It's really hard to open. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. Well, that's ridiculous. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay, let's see what else we have to work with. Holy moly, that was hard to get off of there. I just strained myself. Oh, this one's already been cut a couple times. This is cool, isn't it? And I love the inside of this one. Do I... Maybe I... Just told you my own rule of stiffening them up, but maybe I just use that. I don't know. 
Okay, I'm gonna go on to this one. Oh, and then there's this one. Isn't this cool? It's got the embroidery on it. Yeah, that's a cool one. Yeah, way too much fun. I love the old quilts. Okay, well, I do think I have some fabric that I might like to use with this one. This one has a cool bottom too. Okay, um, I was thinking, I was thinking maybe this one. Which, I don't know what it's got going on. I think there's enough, though. It's coffee dyed. And so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I think there's enough of that. Okay, let's play with this one. <laughs> Jeez, Daisy. That was crazy how hard that was to get off. Okay. Do I want that to be the bottom or do I want that to be the side? If I did the side, then I could get two out of there because this is 19 inches. So I think that's what we're gonna do is, and whoop. So if I go like that, Oh, that is just right there I think okay first thing I'm gonna do is get this the right width over here I think yeah at one of the recent retreats of my friends um, I'm gonna leave about a half inch they cut that I they cut up this old quilt and I couldn't watch but once they got done and said you want some I was like yes please Sitting down is not the best way to do the rotary cutter. It's just likes it better if you're standing and putting pressure on it. But but there we go. So I think I could use this one too. I think. I think it might be might be okay to use but let's do these two first okay so now line that up so it's straight and 18 let's see it's about 21 so 10 11 might go right about there okay so I'm gonna leave a quarter of an inch maybe two-thirds of an inch something like that okay let's make sure we're straight which okay Sorry, I just moved. I'm going to stand up for a second if I can move stuff enough to push my chair back. Okay, hang on. Hard to work around the camera is the difficult part.
my glasses just hit you. <laughs> okay, we're going to call that good enough. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's going to work. Okay. All right, so this one is going to, that's going to be the front. Like that. Yep, and then this will be. Because I just feel like you got to preserve those cool edges, you know. Okay, so what did I say we were doing? Oh, yeah, this. Okay, um, hang on one second. I want to look at that versus that. Okay, I like them both. So we're good. All right. Let's wrap this bad boy. Okay, I might have to take the stitching out of this just to make that edge more workable. When it's only one thickness, it's pretty easy, isn't it? Okay. All right. So, that to be a little bit bigger. And we've got, we've got stitching on this side. But I think I can miss it mostly. Okay, I think that's good. Alrighty then. I'm excited, you guys. I have all these two. I mean, I've got them all to go ahead and do the um, stitching around, but just about what we would call done. Okay. Get some strings out of there. Put that back before I impale myself. Okay. Well, we'll have three quilted ones done, and <laughs> we've got the leather one put together. That's, that's about all we can say about that. Oh, gosh, I don't know. And then I think I'm going to have to use like a tapestry needle or something like that because hopefully that will have a sharper um, a sharper needle to it that was crazy I'm sorry my little sewing machine that I put you through that did I tell you that well, let's see. Not this week, but next week, I believe it is. Alfie's coming to stay. Yeah. I hope his little leg is healed better. Um, he had the ACL surgery, which went well, but he didn't like it. <laughs> Amy said he cries. I think when he steps on it just right, he will kind of cry. Poor little guy. You know, we older folks, things start to fall apart a little bit. <laughs> now, I hope my needle's happy enough with the the quilt. I might have to change needles. Maybe that's it. Somebody asked me how often do you change your sewing needle and I said <laughs> I said when it either when it breaks or it quits sewing. 
<laughs> I may be to the quick quit sewing part. Jeez. But I go on this just just cause a little fuzzy there. Doesn't need to be there. Can't get it off my finger. I'm so full of glue. See? <laughs> Still there. Oh gosh. Get off of there. feel like I do better when I put the glue on the envelope for whatever reason. Okay. Just occurred to me that I'm wearing my sweatshirt that is made from one of my quilt digitals that's actually one of one of my quilts. That was appropriate. I didn't even plan to do that. Okay, so this is going to be the front. So we are just going to pop that right about there. Now, if you're worried about this part fraying, you can put this stuff called Fray Check on there. You can get it in the sewing department, you can get it online. Um, and it's kind of, it's kind of like a, it's a fabric glue for the edges that will keep it from raveling. But um, I don't know, the worn raveled look has its own charm too. So whatever is your pleasure. Okay, there is that one. How am I doing time-wise? Nearly there. Good. Okay, well, I think I'm going to recap what we've done so that um, I, could, I could use a, a few minutes and show you the other quilts I have. I could show you all of these. I showed you that one. I showed you that one. I just showed you that one. There's this, which is so cool. I love that. Love that. It's got some spots, but you know, I've got some spots too. <laughs> There's this little piece of, um, once again, uh, feed sack fabric, kind of all. And then there's this one. Is this, this is not the same as the other one. There's this one. Love this. A lot of these I've made digitals of. So, so there's that. So that one has a couple of pieces because there's this too. But it is not long enough that way. I mean, you can make a smaller journal from it. Then there's this, which look at this one. When you look under there, there's a whole nother quilt under there. And, and then muslin in between. There is a little bit of batting that's kind of here and there, but I would assume that this one underneath got worn and spotted and you know stuff and so they put they put a new quilt top over the top of it isn't that cool yeah that's a fun one and then this um i think i got from an etsy share or something but this one, like I say, I would kind of like to keep the inside. So I'm not sure. Might make that one kind of its own. Then there's this one. That's just the top. So, so we can do something with that. 
Okay, let me show you what else here. What else do I have? Oh, I have these. I'm not quite sure what to do with necessarily. They go on the front of, of a journal, maybe. I don't know, maybe if you unattach them, they could act like the doily, like the closure or something. I don't know. Don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. Those, those may be de-stashed at some point. I don't know. Um, there's this one that's just blue. And, oh, there's this one. I love this. Oh, my gosh. I think there's, there's probably, that's nearly 12. So, there's probably a couple of covers there. This I have made into a digital. But, um, I'm pretty sure where I got this was the estate sale of the gal who used to own the antique mall where I had my booth. And she was an amazing um, embroiderer. So, yeah, so that's a really fun one. And has a little sentimental value. Sentimental value since I knew the gal. And then there's this big old piece that was from one that somebody cut up. So, so yeah. Um, I have a couple other pieces here, too, that I don't know. I'm not sure what I'll do with, but, but yeah, that's my little collection. And so those are living in a fun little tin. Hard to open, but this is the, this is the lid of the tin, so it's, um, uh, it's just, you know, metal. It's kind of a, a fun thing, though. Okay, so that's going back in. These can go back in because there's a nut. This one is kind of like ready to go at some point. But let's see what, what we did. So the one we just did is this light colored one. I could see that having something around it too, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. So, ready to sew. This one, the inside and the outside, ready to sew. And this one, outside, inside, and ready to sew. Which one was I thinking of having this on? I think it was one of the, was it this one? I don't remember, to be honest. I guess it was this one because that was with it. Okay, and then we have our little problem child here that I'm going to figure out. Might have to stitch it. Okay, guys, that's what we did today. We did covers, and I... I'm excited. I am happy to have some more on the go. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a grateful day, and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.